both John and Catherine are, are like, you know, ringers. When we were casting and we were talking about Leo, uh, I had said to our casting director, we need someone like John Spencer. And the casting director said, well, what about John Spencer? And we're never gonna get John Spencer. Uh, and, and we got John Spencer. And what you find out pretty quickly, by the way, is there's no one uh, uh, like John Spencer. They say a good man can't get elected president. I don't believe that, do you? You think I'm that man? Yes. Doesn't it matter that I'm not as sure? Ah, act as if ye have faith, and faith shall be given to you. Put another way, fake it till you make it. If I ever had a mentor, it was, it was John. I never got tired of watching John Spencer do more with three words than most actors could do with three scenes. And watching John Spencer say, thank you, Mr. President, week in and week out, he could make that mean 5,000 different things. He'd come at you and tell you, oh my God, did you see what you did on Wednesday night? It was so beautiful, this, that, and the other thing, and he would just keep coming at you uh, like Joe Frazier until he buckled your knees uh, with love and, and, and compliments and appreciation. The first day, I think it was the first day of the first show, he came up to me after and he said, you are gonna be here until the curtain falls. And he was right. I was there till the very last scene of the very last day of the show. Anytime we had anything special or unique that would happen, you would just look over to John Spence and he'd have a big old smile on his face and he would say, this wouldn't happen if we were on a cop show. This wouldn't happen if we were on a cop show. <laughs> and that still to this day sticks with me. He just could be very funny. And even when his wit was biting, there was still a warmth to it. But his cologne is the thing I remember the most. I really love that. And he and I used to bond over the amount of caffeine we could consume in one, any given day. You know, he was an actor's actor. He needed to act. Acting had literally uh, saved his life. He was a beautiful person. And he always gave his heart to his role. And it doesn't get better, you know, than that. He's telling me about how to get, you know, out of the hole. Acting, but there's no, no acting is happening. <laughs> This guy's walking down the street when he falls in the hall. The walls are so steep he can't get out. Then a friend walks by. Hey, Joe, it's me. Can you help me out? And the friend jumps in the hole. Our guy says, are you stupid? Now we're both down here. The friend says, yeah, but I've been down here before, and I know the way out. Catherine Justin, she lent her humanity uh, uh, to the show. She's playing this dual role of I'm the secretary uh, uh, to the president, but I also used to babysit for you, uh, jackass, so um, uh, it, it gives her some permission to be honest. Catherine Houston has probably my single favorite West Wing moment, and that, that's, that's hard. That, that's a hard list to come up with. When she was shooting the scene with Dulé and talking about her two sons, that is such a, a master class in acting. I think it's as good as the show ever got. You know, they were so young, Charlie. They were your age. It's hard when that happens so far away, you know, because with the noises and the shooting, they had to be so scared. It's hard not to think that right then they needed their mother. I'm a tap dancer. I've, I've been a tap dancer since the age of three. <laughs> the one place that I could not dance is in Mrs. Lanningham's office. And any time that I would be in there and she was in at the same time, and I would just, my feet would sometimes just start dancing anyway. She would be looking down at her, you know, maybe going over her lines or reading something. And she would look up and peer out from under her glasses or over her glasses and she would say, Dulé, Dulé. <laughs> and then I would stop. She was just extremely funny and very dry. And she was really like, like had a vicious dry wit, which was, um, most appreciated on the set of The West Wing. Both John and Catherine, they're not doing this uh, to get famous or to climb up the food chain. They're doing it because they love it and it saved their lives. Um, so I think, I think about them a lot.